Hello, Egil Thorson here. Today I'm not going to tell you a story. It's we're going back into time as to something that is peculiar to the Vikings, and that of course is the Blood Eagle. Now, controversy reigns even a thousand years after the Vikings have gone. Some say it's done from the front, some say it's done from the back. The Viking series on television, they did it from the back. Bragi thought, well, maybe it's from the front. Either way, it's not a particularly nice thing to happen. What we do now, there are two recorded cases of the Blood Eagle being done in this country. I don't know one of them, but I do know that King Ayala of Northumbrian, Northumbria was the other one. It was reserved especially for people of high rank, uh, kings and people like that. Particularly gory uh, thing. Um, in the series they say if you made a noise you didn't go to Valhalla. I don't know whether that's the case or not. In the film they get the knife and they go either side of the spinal column and then with the axe they hack the ribs and create a massive void. They then scoop the lungs and place them on the shoulders and that's supposed to represent an eagle's wings. So if you do it from the front, the, the uh, breastbone, you hammer that and you have to use an axe to split that and you have to be quite precise and you're supposed to pull it apart. Well, it takes tremendous amount of effort. I think you probably have to cut the via the rib cage to open it up. Then you're supposed to scoop the lungs on each side and makes it look like an uh, eagle's wings. Either way, it's a pretty ghastly thing to have to do. But humanity, it does. It's amazing how inventive humanity can be. But it's also amazing how brutal we can be to each other. I'm not here to moralise. I'm just saying it's a fact. But the actual Blood Eagle, as I say, was reserved for people of higher aristocratic rank. Uh, there is talk about the walk, uh, which is uh, the killers of Brian Baru in Dublin. Brian Baru was the last true king of Ireland and stood up against the Vikings. In the Battle of Clontarf, uh, Brian Maru was slaughtered in his tent, had his um, head split open, and the Vikings who did it were grabbed by other Vikings who had trading links with Brian Maru, and uh, as a result, uh, they had certain gentleman parts of their anatomy nailed to a tree. A cut was done just above and they were forced to walk around the tree, thus disemboweling themselves. Again, pretty gruesome thing. So the moral of the story is maybe you don't mess with Vikings and their trade. I've just been handed a note about the or in the Orkney saga. Halfdan defeated, was defeated by Earl Einar who tortured and blood eagled uh, half done so half done probably is the other one so anyway i hope that's um opened up a, an avenue of debate if you have any views on this because i'd like to know a bit more about it myself please let us know leave us a comment your comments are so important to us this is our yardstick or compass if you will by which we manufacture and do our stories and historical facts we don't profess to get them right every time and this is why we want your comments the more comments we get the better feedback we get and also if you feel like subscribing press the old subscription bell up there in the corner and we will get back to you honestly it does take us time uh, we have a team of guided people dedicated to your answers they are Tom, I thought I'd give you a mention. So let us know, let these things come in. And I don't profess to be the um, sole arbiter of knowledge, 
There are people out there who know more about it than I do. And those are the people I want to hear from. So let us know. Okay. May the word of science shine upon you until we meet again. Fahir.